got to take what we get when we get what we get, that's for sure. And um, the conditions are, you know, they're starting to change around a little bit. We're getting a little bit of a, uh, a different scenario from Mother Nature, so maybe we'll start hearing each other more often to break. Mighty nice of Mother Nature. Ain't no doubt about that. Mighty nice of Mother Nature. Motor mouth mall cruising, they got dumb. I made a real tight quench, 
I decked the, deck the uh, heads down to where the, the quench was really, really tight. <clears throat> and it worked really well on pump gas, never pinged and detonated, nothing like that. The car weighed 4,000 pounds, did uh, 0 to 60 in like 3.2 seconds, um, quarter mile in 10.9. At 124 on the street, never been to the drag strip. That was with a uh, G-Tech Pro, run after run after run, real consistent. And uh, put Willwood front, front disc brakes up in there and had uh, Willwood uh, uh, rear discs and uh, the Moser rear end and all that. Was, uh, I had the anti-roll bar from Dick Miller. The thing used to come out of the hole with the front left rear wheel up in the air, about a foot up in the air, and it was all twisted up. I put that Dick Miller anti-roll bar on there, man, I'll tell you what, that thing came out of it. You could let your hands off the wheel, launch the car on the trans brake at 3,000 RPM, and both wheels would come off the ground about six inches on pavement and pull with a 1.97 Gs coming out of the hole at, uh, you know, at, at, with a 10, with a 10.9 uh, quarter mile at 124 miles an hour on the street. So it did pretty good. And then that 468 was backed by a turbo 350 tranny with Mike's transmission hard parts. And then behind that was a gear vendor's uh, uh, overdrive, underdrive unit to break. I wish I didn't let it go, I, but you know, I live out here on the ranch, I bought this 20 acres, and we got gravel roads, and the dust, and um, you know, just to drive it in and out of town would be a pain in the neck, it would be all dirty, just the undercarriage alone would be a mess, you know, and so anyway, I, I finally sold it, and uh, by the way, the suspension was the key. I redid the instant center on the rear end. I did the uh, the um, uh, custom rear geometry to my specs. I, I mocked up a chassis in the garage. I mocked up the wheels and tires and the ride height and the whole bit. And you know how the Chevelle, the uh, the the, the, tra the control arms, uh, the back to top ones go from the inside out, and the bottom ones go from the outside in at a different angles. So where where they intersect in space? Well, it was kind of tricky to figure out, so I, I mocked up the whole thing, was able to physically measure it and watch it and see how it worked with the ride height and also see how it worked dynamically as the, as the car came out of the hole and the, and the rear suspension separated and then as the instant center worked and changed its location while the car came out of the hole. So I was able to diagnose all of that and make it exactly what I wanted. And then I put the extra travel front suspension so you can get the maximum pitch rotation. Oh, believe me, I went through the whole, it was, it, it was, a, um, it was a great project to break. Oh, I think Mother Nature moved. That's what I get for looking down in. <laughs> That's what I get for looking down there, um, down in the uh, um, in the Magdal I mean, the, in the Bayou, and trying to talk up there, uh, up up around uh, 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 Ohio. Motor mouth mall cruising this thing right here, right now. I got down breaker, breaker about.